What's up, everybody? Welcome back to part two, episode 30, Brian's Jerky Journey. I'm your host in the place to be, the notorious Brian G. And I'm joined also right over here, as you can see, by my notorious cameo stealing co star, Cam the Jerky Cat. What's up, guys? Oh, yeah. So we're here to look at the next three episodes, uh, next three flavors of uh, Heidi Joe's Jerky. Uh, forgive the placement of the camera. Uh, appears that the selfie stick that I bought with the. Uh, Swivel stand does not work, so I gotta return it. So I'm just trying to make do and be a little creative with how I uh, film this episode right now. So, um, so here's the bag with the remaining six flavors. I'm just gonna dig in right now, look at the first one, and uh, uh, go through it and see how it goes. So, next one up here is barbecue from Heidi Joe's Jerky, HeidiJoe'sJerky.com. Distribution of quality beef snacks, beef jerky, natural smoke flavoring, added barbecue. All natural, no preservatives, no added MSG, no artificial colors, no flavor enhancers, and no nitrites. High protein and low fat. Uh, this is a 1.6 ounce serving size package. It is best if eaten by 2-12-20. Actually, no. You know what I think it says? It says December 12th, 2020. Um, so 1.6 ounce package, uh, one serving size for this package is 160 calories. 20 calories from fat, 2 grams of total fat, half a gram of saturated fat, um, no trans fats, 35 milligrams of cholesterol, 200 milligrams of sodium with 19 grams of carbs, uh, no dietary fiber, 15 grams of sugar, and 20 grams of protein. So, let's dig into the barbecue. Cam, would you like to join me? Would you like to join me, Cam? No, he's just going to watch. Is that right? You want to watch? Yeah, I like to watch. All right, fine. Okay. So let's dig into the barbecue here. All right, so I just had to uh, turn the light on a little bit to get a bit of lighting here. And I wasn't really thrilled. The last episode I actually did it on my new um, work laptop. Um, the editing software that I use actually... Um, I think I can get on my work laptop, but I don't want to run the risk of putting anything unwanted on it. So I think I'm going to still do this on my phone, use the editing software I have there. But uh, the, the picture is great there. But I'm just going to continue using what I'm using. So, All right, so tenderness texture, initial scent. Very similar to um, some of their um, the jerky I reviewed in the last episode here. So very long piece, uh, very thin. It looks like it has kind of a chewy texture to it just from the, the feel of it. But it looks firm. I mean, tearing a little bit, you can see that it's a little bit of dryness in there. But uh, you can kind of expect that, I think, from the fact that it's barbecue smoked. So it's smoked probably a little longer than, uh, than normal. So um, I'll give it a four for tenderness and texture. So initial scent, you can definitely smell kind of a smokiness, an aspect of barbecue in there. So it doesn't disappoint from the labeling on the package. So it smells appealing, so I'll give that a four as well. Let's see how it chews and tastes. Come here. Come here, buddy. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see. What do you think, Cam? Mm, yeah, jerky. Yeah. It's got kind of like a brown sugary the sweetness to it, which I like. Yeah, let's put you back there then. Mm. It's a nice long strip here. Oh, look at this one right here. Ooh, look at that. Wow. Wow, look at that. I had to sneak a picture of that. So it's good. It's got a nice taste to it. I'm going to give it a five. All right. I'll rush back in here for later. I have a feeling my kids, my younger kid, will like this one. Actually, both my kids seem to like it now. Wow. It's amazing con considering they're both very picky eaters. And they're starting to pick up a little bit more and trying new things. And they both, my younger one likes beef jerky more than my older one. And now my older one likes it. So pretty cool. All right. On to the next one. On to the next one. Natural. Natural beef jerky. Well, probably what they would call, you know, standard original beef jerky. 
All right, uh, best of eaten, November 12th, 20. 1.6 ounce package, one serving size in this package it is 60 calories or 10 calories from fat, a gram of total fat with no saturated or trans fats, 20 milligrams of cholesterol, with 380 milligrams of sodium, three grams of total carbs, no dietary fiber, one gram of sugar, 12 grams of protein. Again, very consistent with their layout of the strips. Uh, I almost call them like, it looks like cardboard, but I mean, it's not cardboard, but it presents kind of that way. This comes off the original. Again, a little bit of effort to take that out, but nothing that like falls apart. I think for it to get less than a three on tenderness and texture, like the stuff has to like literally be like folding off into pieces. You can barely hold it. So I'm gonna give it a three, tenderness and texture. Scent and smell. Again, <laughs> it's original, so it's not necessarily anything that it's gonna stand out. It just smells like something smoky, um, which is fine. So I'll give that a three and then see how it chews and tastes. I'm sorry, I've just been very itchy lately. There's something about the cold weather up here in New England. It gets get very itchy. Face gets dry, red, blotchy. Um, the swimming is a big staple of mine at the gym now, like I've mentioned before. My sh I try to shoot for 36 laps a week swimming. And the pool that I've been swimming in lately has been very warm, which is great this time of year. But I think there's a little more chlorine than what was needed pH is a little too high, so I don't think it really meshed well with my skin. So it's been kind of red and blotchy lately. I've noticed. Um, plus, when we get cold, really cold weather like we have right now, it gets that way. So, but anyway, I think it's something where if you're eating something like this, and you can have a conversation. It's almost like it's not bothering you. It's got a chewy component. I would definitely classify this as a road trip jerky. But it's got a good taste to it. I'll give it a four. All right. On to the last one for part two. Habanero. Habanero. That term, that classic butchered New England term. Almost on the level with Smack Pack, which I personally hated when I first watched it. I, um... I thought Chris Evans was good. I thought Rachel Dratch was good. Um, but I was not thrilled with John Krasinski. Um, but then the more I watched the commercial, the more I thought as forced as the accent that John Krasinski presented in that episode, the funnier it was. So, But I thought Rachel Dratch went a little over the top, but was definitely authentic to some of the stereotypes you hear about some of the women of Boston. And then... Um, Chris Evans, who actually grew up west of Boston, more central Massachusetts, um, was very, I, I thought it was good. I thought it was a good episode. But Habanero, Habanero, Habanero it's called. Um, the Bostonians probably call it Habanero. So, but again, again, 1.6 ounce package. It's best of eaten by November 19th of this year. Um, same thing, touts, 1.6 ounce package. One ounce serving, they give the contents for it. So one ounce serving for this is 90 calories, 10 calories of fat. Gram of total fat, no saturated trans fats, 15 milligrams of cholesterol, 300 milligrams of sodium, 12 grams of carbs, no dietary fiber, and then 11 grams each of sugars and protein. So these are going to probably be very high content level um, product, products just because of the sugar and the protein. As I've mentioned before, if the... Um, if the Protein level is probably, I would say, three times higher what the sugar level is than whatever the nutritional content is from a uh, Weight Watcher point translated perspective. Before it gets the protein, if the protein content's high, it'll drop the points down. So that's why um, this is a good snack option in general because they're generally um, low fat, in this case, one gram, high protein, just 11 grams. So it's good. So have an arrow. And then a texture, initial scent. So. Again, very. I actually like this. That it's it's consistent. Um, if 
you know, you might not be thrilled with the, the way it's laid out like this, how it looks kind of like cardboard or like whatnot. Some people call it that. But if it's consistent, if it, to me, it's like, yes, this, this, yeah, this might be kind of cardboardy looking. Um, and again, it can tear it fairly easily. Um, but at the end, that's why I only classified as 25% of the score because there's a smell and a scent component and then how it chews and how it tastes, which really is, you know, the whole score aspect of it. So, so again, three is kind of the standard level. I'm going to give it a three here. Scent and smell and habanero get kind of a, kind of a smokiness aspect of it, um, given the, uh, you know, the kind of pepper that they're putting in there, the seasonings and stuff. So, um, Something that's appealing and makes me interested in seeing what's going to be like uh, from a chewiness and taste aspect. So I'll give that a four and then chewiness and taste. Again, another good road trip jerky. Nice chewiness component to it. Getting a little bit of the heat right now as I'm chewing it. But I'm literally keeping the heat aspect to the middle. Tongue, not necessarily the tongue, but like maybe the upper roof of my mouth above uh, the tongue, but not on the sides. Oh. Got a nice kick to it. Again, another good road trip with turkey option. And a decent taste. I'm going to give it a four. So, that'll do it for part two of episode 30, Brian's Jerky Journey. Stay tuned. Probably in the next week where I reviewed the last three of Heidi Joe's Jerky. I'm actually, um, I still have a couple more brand jerkies that I have on site that I have to review. And I have one that's coming in the next week <clears throat> and then smokehouse jerky company i just reached out to and they're going to be sending me the rest of their stuff within the next week so i'll have another episode for that uh similar four parters most likely uh to do there so in the meantime you can like my uh, youtube channel over here you can watch uh prior episode of brian's jerky journey over here you can look at my content contact information below in terms of uh, where to like me in my social media channels on facebook instagram twitter uh you can follow uh you can send me a message if you uh, are las vegas based and you're going to be or going to be in the las vegas area uh during the beginning of march madness next month because i will be there maybe we can meet up if you have a store in that look in that area maybe we can um sample a product so let me know you can send me a message at brian's jerky journey at gmail.com and that is it so uh, subscribe like subscribe watch and hope you've enjoyed this journey with me and join me in the next one thanks Thank you for watching Brown's Jerky Journey. If you don't like jerky, you suck.